What's going on, y'all? Welcome to ep Wow. What a way to start. Okay. Welcome to episode 50. No. Wow. We're not even in the 50s, John. This is where we're way past the 50s. Uh, 65? I think I'm Sogalog. I'm losing track of myself. Um, it might be 66, but I think it's 65. And I've literally lost everything. It's fine. We're starting. Today's a gym episode. But it should be a chill gym episode. And I actually had a question for you about Nina. Because I forgot that Nina doesn't evolve via friendship. Nina actually evolves via learning mimic, which she'll never do. So I was trying to figure out a good level. And I was thinking that level 32 would be great. Because when she normally evolves anyway and learns to mimic. So if you all agree, let me know. But today we are going to take on Rourke, which... I'm a little bit worried for, but also not worried for at the same time. So, excuse me. I'm gonna go see if I can buy some potions. If I can't, then oof, but I should be able to buy at least something, right? Um, never mind. It's really just big oof for me. Oh no, there we go. I was like, I don't, I didn't even react to the big mushroom last episode, apparently. But yeah, okay, that's saving. That's a saving grace. That's nine potions. We're good. Okay. Cool. We have potions. And now we can successfully go into this gym and I don't have to freak out. So, I'm going to avidly take the long way because I don't really need to... I don't really care about these trainers. I should. But I know Rourke's level 16 ace and we train the team up to level 15. So, I figured that was good enough. And our, and our with the way our team is composed... There's only one Pokemon I'm worried about, which, with uh, my luck, the Pokemon will be here. So I'm being a little bit quieter because obviously it's 2333, which in layman's terms is 1133 at night because, you know, there's an hour between the next, last two recordings. It's fine. Um, <laughs> oh, that's right. Work has three Pokemon in this game. I forgot about that. Okay. But anyway, I don't really have anything much to talk about today other than... I was watching, like, nostalgic stuff, because, you know, nostalgic stuff is something, right? It's, you know, well, might as well just watch a nostalgic video about how shows that you watched when you were a kid were actually really good. Because I grew up in that era of, like, regular show, Adventure Time, and a whole bunch of those other Cartoon Network staples. Um... I was a little bit too old when Gravity Falls came out, but, and of course, I we trailed off of regular show because regular show, I think, was started in 2013, if I'm not mistaken, and so I was already getting out of that phase, but I had watched, like, season one of these shows, um, and a little bit of season two of regular show, but I think that's about it, but I'm really curious now. Um, when did regular show come out? Okay, so yeah, that was literally... Okay. So no, about 2013 is when I ended watching it. Which would make sense, because I'd be 13. Um, but yeah, so a lot of those shows, and the, 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 before the 2010 hit, there was a lot of these more teen kid shows that were coming out. And it was it's nice to kind of have, because I feel like the teen kid shows are totally fine. Um, like, especially for older kids. Duh, they're meant for teens. So, of course, it's going to be better for older kids. And so, with that being said, <laughs> I was watching about how cool these were and, like, all the crazy things that happened in these shows because there was a lot more free reign to do things. And because there was a lot more free reign to do things, it was chill and fine and dandy. Also, you might be wondering why I'm not like, oh my god, uh, this is happening. Because, well, one, we're chill right now. <laughs> like, that's the thing. There's a difference because it's chill. Like, we, like, do, we're in a, we're in a, we're in my chill region. We're in a region where I, can, I feel like I can just sit here, chat with you about the game, how everything's going. This is my day and what's happening in my day. And you get to learn some stuff. Whereas, Hoenn was just like, oh my god, everything's happening. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely a lot more chill in this series, in this recording session, I think, than I will be 
in a lot of other ones because, you know, nobody wants to hear the same story about, oh, this is college. This is what I'm doing in college. And, oh, this is work. These people are at work. Like, I don't do that much that's at the moment, which is why I like collaborative projects with uh, people, which I'm hoping to start up a couple more collaborative projects on this channel. Um, specifically, uh, not solely on this channel, obviously. I like the back and forth kind of stuff, but I want to start some more collaborative work and collaborative projects, especially once college is over, because oh my gosh, once college is over, everything is going to be so much easier, because um, I'm going to have a job that's going to have a consistent schedule. Like, for once in my life, I'm going to have... I mean, I shouldn't say for once in my life, because technically, my first job was a consistent schedule, but it was a split shift every time. Constrict, what a great what a great TM. So, it was a split shift. So, it was 10... Or, um, excuse me. 7 to 9. Or more like 6 to 8. Um, and then... Between 6 to 8, then you came back, and it was 5 to 7. So it was 4 hours, but there were 2 hour stents, because, you know, it's a farm. You don't really... There's not... You're just taking care of the animals, feeding animals, and all that stuff. Um, and making sure that a lot of other things are taken care of. So, anyways, what I'm saying is that, yes, I did... I, ha I have experienced a consistent schedule. Um, but it's... I'm excited to have a good job with a consistent schedule because that I have not had and once I have that you know I'll have a 7 to 4 uh, 7 to 4 6 to 3 8 to f wait 7 to 4 that's n oh well no 6 to 3 is the same thing okay no it's our lunches duh I'm like, what the heck is this difference? Our lunches. <laughs> That's the difference, John. <laughs> I'm like, nine to five, you know, it's fine. No, nope. Uh, some places have our lunches, which I don't know about you, but I find the our lunches kind of just like, oof. Because, I don't know. I feel like nobody really needs an hour to eat or an hour to have lunch. Like, yeah, occasionally having an hour lunch would be nice, but I'm not going to be, like, sitting at home and being like, I want hour lunch. Like, I just feel like that's so long. Like, 30 minutes is just fine. You, you're, you get accustomed to 30 minutes of lunch at an early age. Like, literally, in high schools, it's all 30-minute lunches. In elementary schools... Like literally in the schools, you've always you always get thirty minute lunches, and then you go to a job, and some jobs are like, oh here, have an hour lunch, but like I don't want to be here for an extra hour, like <laughs> especially if I work from home, right? Like of course you have to deal with it, yada yada, but it's like I don't know, I thirty minute lunch is all I need usually, unless I want to have an exercise day. And then I would take advantage of an hour lunch. But I guess that's kind of the thing, right? Is it's giving you an opportunity to do other things, which is nice. I wonder if there's a, like, statistic is the word I'm going to go with, but it's not the right word, about if it's better to take an hour lunch versus a 30-minute lunch. Because I'd be curious to see, like, how the work ethic progresses um, over the time of a lunch. Because... I would think that it would not really matter, but that's also because I it's price to performance. And I'm like, well, if I am staying longer, then I'm getting paid less for the amount that I'm staying. That's my thought process, honestly. Like, and I know, my thought process is a lot weirder because I'm like, money, money, money. You gotta be financially stable and financially okay with everything and every decision I make. But it is a good thing. It's a good philosophy that I don't mind, actually. There's some philosophies I have that I'm like, you know, I will keep that one. That one's not bad. <laughs> and being fiscally responsible, I think is a good one to keep. <laughs> um, anyways. I'm gonna have a curious in the front of the party, as always. Uh, although we have a double battle coming up, I just realized that. 
Um, hmm. I don't want Curious to get bopped. So, to prevent Curious from getting bopped, we're going to move Curious. As much as I trust Curious Cacti, because he's amazing. He's lovable, and y'all know him. Beedrill and Porygon 2. Great. Yeah, Beedrill, you're going to put to sleep right now. Or you're getting bopped. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dawn has a hat. I was like, why does Dawn have a missing egg? Is? Oh, yeah, because Dawn gets hat. Naturally. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't think. Boom. Okay, we got that. Oh, they're cops. Anyone else find it ironic that Team Galactic's entire... Every time we run into a Team Galactic member, they're going to be a cop. So does it mean we're the villains if the cops are the ones that are fighting us? Are we the anti-hero in this story? We, I think we are. If they don't... Wow! That was a voice crack that I've... <laughs> the biggest voice crack I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, I think we're the anti-hero in this story today. Okay. You know, that was the first Galactic battle we fought, so it makes sense to why we didn't know until now. But um, yeah, like I said, I really like that. Anti-hero hide. So you know what triggers me about this? It's not even that I got into the battle. It's literally, well, hi, Barry, die. You didn't die. What triggers me is I know there's a hidden item here, and I just freaking messed up. Oh, there's not a hidden item here. I'm wrong. To be fair, I just kind of guessed. <sighs> so, yeah. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say a lot, and it's going to be really drastic, and it's going to be kind of annoying, but it's fine. I really should not be recording right now. I'm just, I'm just too tired. I'm gonna fall asleep right after this. That's 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 what I'm doing because I'm really tired and should go to sleep. <laughs> and I'm like, I got I got editing to do after this, anyways. So I could just because all I have to do is add I think Crobat to the layout in the next episode. So I'm gonna definitely do that. And our encounter is seeking. Don't have water type yet, so might as well try. Oh yeah, you have your, you have my. F it's immune to powder moves. And it's got insomnia. We love that. I was not expecting to catch that immediately. I'm gonna name you. S I'm gonna name you Kion. And my three and four year old cousins are gonna flip out. But it's okay. Because it's like Kion's not. Why do you name Kion not a lion? Because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sea lion. That's a, what, no, it's a lionfish. <laughs> That's my justification. It's a lionfish, therefore, it can be named Kion after the lion guard. That's what. That's my answer to that question. <laughs> the inevitable question that I'm never ever gonna get because my cousins are not gonna see this video ever. But it's fine. <laughs> um, but yes, so I actually hung out with my cousins uh, today, which is awesome. I'm super excited about that because it's been a while since I've done that. And it just felt really good and really nice to finally like go over there and hang out. Because I've just been so busy and it's been so crazy that I just haven't felt the, like I've had the time to do it. And so it's my cousin's birthday today. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go. No matter what, I'm making the time. Because she's three and I love her and she's amazing. And so I'm making the time no matter what. That's just kind of the person I am. So anyway, we watched uh, The Lion Guard, which is a show. God, this episode's just about shows. It's fine. But anyway, what the Lion Guard is, is it's basically, uh, 
Generation 2 Lion King. That's the best way to explain it for all of us people who are uh, actually like part of the Lion King 1 era. So it's basically Simba's kid because, yeah, am I too loud? But yes, so that's what it is for all you people who didn't know what it is. Because I figured nobody would know what it is besides. But still, it was just fun to hang out and have a good time. And... Wait. Oh no, I'm forgetting if this is a new counter or not. Is it? Uh, it's not. And the only reason I'm going to say it's not is, well, one, I didn't expect this double battle. And two, because I think this is still considered draft war. So Flygon has Intimidate. And I saw... Oh, God. We were... We ran into the one Pokemon that wrecks my entire team. I said it. I'm like, there's one type of Pokemon that wrecks our entire team. Hi, Pokemon that wrecks our entire team. Welcome to the video. And welcome to being on the one episode that I... Well, I don't need it in any episode. But welcome to the episode, because of course, you literally pop up and super fa literally... Ice and f ice is super effective against three of my team members. Combine that with flying, that's weak against three of my team members. And in a double battle, this is just oof. I'm just gonna hope it doesn't have Aeroblast like Moltres does. And if it does, Ronda probably dies. Um. 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 Oh, that did nothing. Okay, we're fine. Double targeted into Roserade. Good to know. Good to know that that's what they would do. I'm actually going to go ahead and yawn the Articuno. And then... I'm at half. But Articuno's the only one that's going to be able to hit me. So I'm going to heal. Because if Articuno is the only one that can hit me, it'll definitely hit me with a flying type move. No doubt about that. And I'm definitely more worried about the Articuno than I am about the Flygon, even though it has Roar of Time. Yeah, that's why. Oh, good. Okay. Ronda takes the physical move like a champ. And I'm going to go ahead and Smelling Salt the Flygon. I'm assuming Flygon goes for Aurora Time again, but I'm not going to assume. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to think it will. I literally just said I think it does, but whatever. Now, who does it hit? If it's Rhonda, that's fine. I'd rather try and hit Rhonda. Yeah, they're doubling into Rhonda. They're thinking, okay, I'm okay with Rhonda being the bigger threat, quote, quote. But now the Articuno's asleep, and the other one can't attack, so. So now we attack the Articuno. And we go ahead and kill the Fly God right now. Awesome. Curious leveled up, yay! Okay, so now I'm gonna heal again because I'm being crazy and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Um, which again, I don't mind that mindset. Of, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I gotta be careful. Good, we did it. We made it through. As well, we should because our team's good. <laughs> Personally. Like, if we don't make it through these situations, then that's bad. But, 
what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my final encounter and then probably call it. I think that'd be a good time to call the episode. I don't know about you guys, what do you guys think? I mean, it's happening no matter what anyway. Anyways, but. Okay. Encounter be good, 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 please. Actually, we get two. So excited, and then it's this. Like again, I shouldn't complain. It's a shame, but like, out of all of the other cool mythical legendaries I could have had, like out of anything in the world, I got Shaman. Which, ugh, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay, John. Everything's okay. The world is not dying. And I'm gonna need alarm because that should not kill. Oh yeah, you'll take three of those. Uh, no you won't. Okay, time for mass trying to catch this, but I won't be able to catch it because it's a freaking... <laughs> it's a shaman. Okay, never mind. We are gonna catch it. I just kind of was gonna waste all my Pokeballs on it. I'm gonna name it Molly. Molly the Shaman. I actually didn't think we were gonna catch that at all. I figured, you know, there's no reason to try. But there's always a reason to try. Oh! Remind me there's a honey tree over here for our honey encounter. And if you could, if you guys could, please, that'd be amazing. I would need that very special reminder because I'm going to forget for sure. Dude, Psychic hurts our team too. Literally everything just destroys our team. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I've taken out of today's episode. Everything on our squad can get destroyed because we have no type diversity whatsoever and we can't fix it because we can only fix things when things die. So there's gonna be an inevitable episode where things go fall apart and boom. And we're not going to be able to do anything about it. <laughs> okay. Final thing. I swear you can fish. You can. Okay, I was like, I swear you can fish here. Um, now that I'm stressed, four encounters or anything. <laughs> wow. Okay then. I feel like you can actually live a leaf storm too. It's quad effective or quad resisted. The one time I'm like, I think you can live that is the one time that Rosary decides it wants to crit. Okay, Rosary. I love you, but why? So before I get into Double Battle Madness, because my team's trained and all fine and dandy, um, because, you know, my, although my team wouldn't be trained and all fine and dandy if I would have, like, I'd, I'd probably be you know, in a different spot. But yeah, love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day. Um, don't subscribe if you don't want to, but if you want to, I would love you to do that. And we will talk to you guys in a future episode because you guys are amazing. Love you all. Bye.